Hi friends, this is Fanny Bushin Nagula. Today we are going to learn about free form arrival thread group. I suggest you watch my earlier session on arrival thread group as it uses same arrival thread concept. So free form arrival thread group created by Blaze Meter with some more flexibility to overcome the limitations with arrival thread group. So what is that flexibility? If you observe on this page, this thread group doesn't have ramp up or steps option, but free from arrival thread group will help you to perform spike testing. So if you observe thread schedule options, so we have start value and value and the duration option, option here, the columns, add the row. So I already added one row here with the certain values. The start value means arrival rate at the beginning of the time frame, and the end value means arrival rate at the end of the time frame. So, whatever the duration which you are given, the start and end value will will be created. Means those arrival rates will be created. Now, let's understand the thirty is the. So, in this example, what I given is the start value is thirty and n value is 90 so and the duration 180 it means the j meter will start with 30 arrivals per second at the beginning of the time frame and it keeps on adding one arrival rate per three seconds so it means now if you look at n value 90 minus 30 that is 60 the 60 to achieve these 60 arrivals 60 arrivals in 180 duration this 180 by 60 that is that nothing but three seconds so i will use i have used the time unit three seconds here three seconds per arrival rate per one arrival rate so what happens after 30 per one second per one second 31, 31, 31, and for next three seconds, 32, 32, 32. Like this, all the, the arrival threads will start getting generated or created. So now, all these values, when you sum it up, cumulate you, it will give certain number of arrival rates. For easy understanding, so as part of this freeform array cell group, we have a graph here. If you observe, it is talking about we have started with 30 arrivals and moving, increasing up to 19 arrivals. And now when you see here arrival rate, it is giving 10,800 total arrivals. So it is already calculating the the total number of array arrivals which will be generated as part of this scenario so automatically the derivation value will be appearing on this graph that is 10800 and apart from so we have seen time minute and thread iterations limit then nothing but loop count which we have seen in um, arrival thread group also and we have log thread Threads, log the thread status into file and the concurrency limit. So we already uh, we have seen concurrency thread concurrency limit even in arrival thread group also, which is which defines the the maximum number of virtual users, which will help us to avoid the memory problems on your load injection machine. So as part of this scenario, I have added one dummy sampler. And I have added one aggregate report and active threads over time. So if you observe aggregate report, I have already executed for convenience purpose. And if you have seen that the number of samples generated here, 10,800. So on the top right corner, if you see around 32 virtuals, virtual users been created, means it used below 32 virtual users for generating 10,800 transactions now if you go to active threads over time 
you can see all active threads which started from 6 and jump till uh, in between 20 27 28 so but it's managed to create these many active virtual users with the help of these virtual users it able to create these many arrivals or the transactions or the orders what you can say and um, let's understand how you can create how you can create spike so for example if i am adding one more row i am going to add one more row and i'm saying from uh, uh, let me say from 90 i want to use 10 here and i'll just keep this value here and let me add one more and from here again i'll say 30 and let's go up to 120 and let me keep this value and from 100 till let me keep this 10 value and so now from 10 i want to reach to 120 and let me keep this so if you see this graph is uh, moving up and down it's now i started with 30 and jump to 60 and then come down to so in this fashion we can able to create spikes if you are like playing with uh, the start value and end value and the duration you will be able to create the spike the required spike and uh, the number of arrivals which are required to be created as part of the spike that you will be able to achieve with this spike means free form arrival thread group so that's it from my side today thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and give your valuable feedback and don't forget to click on the, the bell icon. Thank you.